What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. And right now we're going to be talking about headliners and how you can unlock your headliner players super fast in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Go ahead, get them and get ready for the gridiron. Free players, free packs, all that good stuff. Um, and I'm going to explain to you guys how you get it and the best players to choose right now. So ultimately right now, I'm just going to make sure everybody understands this is a different interface than Madden 23. We are going to continue to talk about this until everybody gets used to it because I'm still getting questions about where to find things. So I have to do this part for everyone. My veterans, I know you're going to go ahead and hold it down for me a little bit while I just explain it very, very quickly. In your top left, you scroll over. This is where you find all the different things regarding what goes on within the game. All right. To find out what's going on with live events and the current field passes that are active with the promos, that's where you're going to find it in live events. You're going to hold down the L2 bumper and you're going to find where everything is inside of this actual segment. All right, so the L2 bumper brings up every field pass, the season field pass, ultimate preseason, all these things, team captains, everything is found there. Now, let's jump right into the headliners real quick. We're gonna take a look at the objectives. We're gonna take a look at the actual rewards, okay, and how everything is unlocked and all that good stuff, okay? So the objectives, this is what you're gonna do to actually get XP to level up to get the rewards. So you're probably looking at this like, yo, gee, I wanna get my stuff. What's going on right now? How do I do this? Well, level two is right away you unlock your front page player. All right, right away. Now I'm gonna tell you guys who my favorite player is and the player I chose by going to my lineup in a second, but this is how you get them. All right, as you go through it, you're gonna also get an 84 overall B&D Headliners Hero Fantasy Pack. I'm gonna tell you who the best player out of that one is also, and then continue to go through, you're gonna get XP, you're gonna get front page tokens, and you're gonna be able to upgrade your players as you go through. Everything is found right here in the reward section, and as you go through it, everything is gonna change um, as you go through, so make sure you guys understand that at the end, that 84 overall is auctionable you don't see the BND writing in there. That's one of the things that EA Sports has added. They specify what is auctionable and what is not. So definitely take a look at that and you know figure it out how you're gonna go ahead and use which cards and which cards you should get a, you know throw away and just get them out of there right away. Because the headliners promo should be going for a little bit because it ends in 50 days. We gotta see how long they actually continue to add new cards. With the Legends promo dropping probably this weekend, I don't know if we're gonna be in a different type of competition. But the best way to do it is to have a variety of all of the cards, all right? And I'm gonna give you guys insight in the best ones to actually choose. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the objectives, okay? This is what you need to focus on. The challenges are very, very easy. There's nothing that's really difficult. Even if you're starting the game from scratch and you have a very low level team, you still can beat these challenges. You gotta earn 120 stars. It's different segments to it, so I'm assuming that they're gonna be dropping different things on a weekly basis uh, for you guys to continue to unlock more things as far as that goes. So the challenges are very, very important if you're looking to do these things, you know, doing these things super fast, all right? If you wanna just take your time, you can just play around with head-to-head, -head, solo battles, and possibly do house rules. But challenges, these are the primary ways because you can see 5,500 right here, bro. Over there, 4,000. You're gonna be leveling up really, really fast with that. With the sets, complete 10 plus headliner sets, you gotta go, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest ones to do in a second. Uh, house rules, you just go to house rules on the tab on the bottom, like in the beginning that I showed you when you log in and you go and you see the play. Go to house rules, pass a 1,500, and then continue to win head-to-head -head and solo battle games to get more XP. This is the glitch though, getting the challenges done, because you, you could take, you know, do it at your own pace, don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Chill out. Watch me on stream while you're doing it. A lot of you guys say you do that. And um, go ahead and get that done. Very, very simplistic. But this right here gave me a lot of XP. So let's go ahead and talk about that really quickly. With the sets, for every field pass, when you're in the actual field pass, right, you can see specifically what applies to that in the catalog, the sets, and the challenges. For this particular thing right here, we're going to jump into the sets and we're going to go ahead and take a look at which 10 to do. Now, if you completed any of these other ones, that's fine, but the easiest way to do it is this right here. These cards right now are very, very cheap. Uh, 270 to 71s and 372 to 73s. Obviously, the prices may vary as people know that you need these cards and it is launch. You know, it's early launch right now, so whatever. But this one is the easiest and most cost efficient to do to get that XP really, really quickly. 
Because you could already see where my level is. I'm pretty much almost maxed out with the thing for the first week. And it's only one day into the game. So I'm showing you the insight that you are going to need in order to be successful and get this done really, really fast. So this would be the set that you do 10 times. Now, if you're somebody that buys packs, complete these and utilize them. I will tell you this though. This card sucks. And I did tweet that out. On G My at G Myers World. So I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys want more insight into what I'm doing, go to Twitter and click that subscribe button on Twitter. Trust me, you hit me up, I got you on the go right away with the things that's going on live. All right, that's the difference with the members here. When I'm live streaming and you have questions, all that stuff, that's what you get for your membership and things like that, live streaming, specific things to the videos. But you can go, we can go outside of that on Twitter. All right, because I'm on the go, I'm not always by my console. You can hit me up there. I'll see the uh, subscriber icon by your name. Bam, IOG, I got a question about why Kenny Pickett is garbage. And we could jump into that. But that dude right there, he sucks. But if you are someone that wants to go ahead and be a Steeler theme team and you're going to get him, all of these apply. All right, all of these apply to adding into uh, completing those 10 sets. All right, but this is the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and jump into that one. Now, with everything else that applies in the objectives and as you continue uh, to go ahead in the field pass, this is something that I want to make sure that you guys understand. This is also a very, very huge way to gain XP. You may have seen the video about leveling up fast. Very, very important. Okay, very, very important that you get the XP out of these levels because it's going to help you tremendously. Trust me on that. It's going to help you a lot. All right. So with everything uh, else that you're going to probably be able to unlock with the front page and all that stuff like that, let's go talk about the front page player that I chose and why I chose him. Now, another thing that changed in Madden 24, they pretty much removed the ability to moss dudes. It's very, very random and you can't just trigger the animations as simple as you could before. Now, that could be updated and changed in a patch, but as of right now, I don't know what they're doing. It's really, really bad. But either way, Isaiah Likely, he is the best front page player to choose. All right, I already have two tokens for him and he's already, um, you know, pretty much almost done with it as far as, you know, the upgrade tokens go. Once we're done with him, he's going to be an 84 speed and he's a really big guy. All right, 6'5", 241, uh, run block is decent, all that good stuff. So I want you guys to take a look at this and be able to understand some of the things that are going on with it because I believe that is extremely important for you to be able to, you know, do these different things and know the players that are the best for what you're looking for. Very, very important. Now, the other ones that are there, you can choose whatever you want. I'm giving you the best because that dude is out there balling. And I'm telling you right now, he's really, really good. All right, so just understand that and you should be good to go with everything else that's going on uh, in that regard. So all of that being said, everything that you need to know and what you want on your squad or whatever else is gonna be happening, some of the headline of players, like the, um, the one you get from the 84, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about real quickly. The 84 overall free one that you get early on, I'm gonna show you which one to choose right there, the best free player that's right here at level four, the B and D, and he's a corner. The dude is a monster. Like you, you could go, you could go with the wide receiver. I got the wide receiver after, but J.C. Horn was my B and D. Kadarius Tony, I got after. He's also a beast. You can't go wrong with either of them. All right, those are the two best in that pack right now. So go out there, get your headliner stuff done, get your front page player. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments. Be yo, feel free to go ahead right now and subscribe to me on Twitter and let me know that you got it from this vid. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Stay well, stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.